In this video, we're gonna turn some old pallets into a dog bed. All right, so we got all those pieces off of those pallets. Some of those were a little frustrated, but this is the pieces that I uh, didn't break in the process, but it's plenty to make the dog bed. So first, I wanna actually cut a couple of these in half to make the sides uh, and make the border. So let's go over to the miter saw with a few of these guys and do that now. All right, so I'm gonna cut these guys in half. They're 41 and a quarter, which gives me 20 and 5 eighths. All right, so I'm gonna use these as the two ends. So I'm gonna just get these lined up here. Throw a couple grabs in. Watch your fingers. Cool. All right, so I'm just making a big border right now. This is actually gonna be for a pretty big sized dog, but they need beds too. All right, I wanna make this uh, another layer high. So I'm gonna take this guy in here and see what another layer will get me to. And I'm gonna cut four of these lengths to go all around the border so we can get one more stack of this pallet wood. Okay, now I have four of these guys cut. So what I'm gonna do is stick this in the corner, tack it off. Double check to make sure you're not using nails that are gonna poke through the surface and get you in the hand. That has happened and it sucks. Now I'm gonna take my square, mark this out so I can cut this excess off. To me it's just easier to run it long, come back and cut it off in the measure. Now we got just a big box, doesn't really look like a dog bed. So what I want to do with my uh, jigsaw is cut a scroll out so the dog has a place to get up into the bed. I'm just going to mark half of this and then do an equidistant on each side. So in this case I'll do, let's call it, let's do 13 inches each side. You can get super technical with this or you can just freehand. A nice slope. All right, now we're gonna take this jigsaw and come in here and cut out that scrolled line to get rid of this guy. All right, I don't want these to be flimsy here, so I'm gonna add another backer right behind on each side and nail that off as well. Let's just say some of your nails did make it through. I like using this flap disc on a grinder and coming in and, and smacking these things down. Last step is I'm gonna put two supports across the bottom so that it's holding this box together. You don't have to fill the whole base because this will probably be on the floor somewhere with the dog bed inside, but just to hold it together a little more strongly, I'm going to do that. So. All right, now we're gonna take the big torch and douse the entire thing, come back and sand it, and try to get a finished product. All right, and just because this will make it that much better and you'll know it's a dog bed, you gotta put your dog's name on the top. Now we're going to take our orbital sander and get this thing all nice and smooth and safe and get the rough to pop. All 
All right, well, I actually don't have a dog right now. Leave a comment if you think I should get a dog and what kind because I really want to get one and it's definitely time. If you're going to try this, let me know. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. This is a fun little project out of free pallets. You're watching Timberman TV. Check out these other videos.